Hi everyone, it's Sherry Carroll with Hero Arts bringing you a new technique I discovered that I'll call velveteen stamping. This technique allows you to get a velvety overlay look by stamping with white ink first and then over stamping with colored ink. I'll start off using my Unicorn Pigment Ink by Memories and I'll ink up the leaf and floral background stamp. And I'm just patting the stamp and I want to make sure that I get really nice full coverage. I'll just go back over a couple more times. And once I have that inked up, I'll go ahead and lay my note card directly onto the stamp, aligning it how I want that. And I've uh, found that if I use a sheet of paper on top, I'll just lay that down. Now I can press in place and I won't get the ink on my fingers from the overhang of the stamp. So I'll just press around. Once I have that stamped, now I can just peel that off. And you can slightly see the image. For my stamping colors, I've chosen a couple mid-tone inks and a couple shadow stamp inks. And then I'm also using my bold pop designs because they have nice solid flowers. I'm also using this little five-point flower from the clear set together. It's a nice little uh, text printed flower. And now I can start my stamping. I've allowed the image on my card to dry a little bit before I stamp my overlay colors. I will choose one color per stamp. So here I have my wet cement and this kind of uh, scallopy looking flower. So I'll go ahead and ink this up really well. The first time you use a stamp, you may want to really ink it up well, clean it, and then stamp, clean it again, and then ink it up really well. Okay, so now I've stamped my flower, and I'm going to blot this off just with a, a dish towel that I keep in my stamp room. And I'll go ahead and ink this up again, and stamp off the edge up here, and blot again. This card goes really fast, so it's just a matter of choosing your colors, one per stamp. I'm going to go into a little triangle pattern here and I'll go ahead and stamp one more flower of this color and again I'll blot. And Now you can see that the image is slightly coming through. You can see where it's dark and light. This is really cool. It really looks better in life, in real life. So now I will choose a lighter ink. This is soft sand and I'm choosing this little six point flower and I'll just kind of randomly start stamping this and again even with the soft sand ink I want to blot off in between stamp again I'm just kind of filling in areas just kind of trying to get a random pattern going on And I'll go ahead and stamp up on this side and blot again So now that I have my neutrals in place, I'll go ahead and add a splash of color and I've chosen soft pool. You could use uh, the bubble gum or butter bar or any other type of colored ink in here because they all go with the neutrals, but I've chosen soft pool and I'm using my little uh, text printed flower here. It's a clear stamp. So I'm just kind of randomly adding my splash of color. And again, I'm blotting in between with my towel each time. So this is the base of my card. I only have a couple more things to do before I finish it up. I love the butterfly from this pop design and it's really nice bold lines. And so here I'm using the Cup of Joe ink. And when I'm using a darker color, I wanna really make sure I get the ink down on the stamp really well. So I'm gonna go over a couple times. And once I have that inked, I'm just going to put it askew onto the card, just kind of at an angle, and press it down really well. And once I have that stamped, I'll show you how that image is starting to come through. Of course, blot again. And the ink dries on the paper right away, so you don't have to worry about smearing. But now you can really see where it's light and dark in those areas. Now I'll be creating a message and I'm using the Be Happy Clear set and this happens to be my new favorite message set because they're all like solid little strips. So I'm just inking this up with Cup of Joe. It's going to match my butterfly and it looks like a Dymo tape type stamp where it's solid with the white words and I'm just stamping this onto a scrap of snow paper, snow layering paper. And so I'm just giving this a really good press and it is a shadow ink so it will end up soaking in when it first stamps it looks blotchy 
but it fills in. So now I'm just going to trim this out with my scissors. So I've added my message to my card and I lifted it up with a little bit of foam tape and I cut a little V at the end. And here I'm just adding a few medium sized pearls and I'll just add these to a couple of the flower centers. This is one of those really fun quick and easy cards. You could certainly do this really fast in batches. If you wanted to do Easter cards you could do really spring colors. So once I add my pearls my card is pretty much done. So here's a look again at the finished card. You can see the detail of the under stamping with the white ink. And I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial on velveteen stamping. Thanks for watching.